my first started playing snooker at my mum's um, club. Well, it was Riley, she managed it. And um, I first started playing snooker when I was there. Um, I was about 12 or 13 when I first started playing, um, but I played pool before since I was about three or four. I had like a game now and then, like standing on crates and that, but you know, nothing serious to them. I think when I was 14, um, I made my first century break, or yeah, 14 or 15, I'm not sure. I think it was 14. Um, I've, like, I've used a Mike Baldridge for the last four or five years, but I've recently just got a new cue made off John Paris. You know, I'd probably say he's the best cue maker going now. Um, <laughs> winning. <laughs> it doesn't happen that often, but you know, when it does, there's nothing better when, when you're winning and playing well. Uh, it's got to be the Crucible, hasn't it? Um, I've heard the German Masters one's pretty good, but you know, to play at the Crucible is the ultimate one, isn't it? Um, I'm not sure really. I just, you know, I have quite a few friends on tour. I just like hang around with everyone, really try to get on with everyone, I think it's the best way. Um, well, Stephen Edge is my uncle, so I don't know if I can't say him, but yeah, it's got to be him on titles, hasn't it? Just, you know, chill out with my friends really, go to the gym with my cousin a few times a week. Um, you know, just any other sports really, you know, watch TV maybe, eat crisps. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure, I think prawn and cocktail, but I've started liking spicy ones recently, so, you know, who knows. <laughs> um, I quite like uh, Federer in tennis, you know, he's such a great you know, a great sportsman, um, but in snooker I'd probably, you know, there's so many of them, you know, there's people who win, really. <laughs> um, it's a good question. I don't, I don't know, I've, I've always heard that snooker was like good in the 80s and that, and I didn't really get to see it because obviously weren't born, so it'd, nice, it'd be nice to go back then and see, you know, what that was like, but, you know, who, who knows, I weren't there. <laughs> Um, alive or dead. I'd quite like to have dinner with Michael Jackson just because, you know, he's very unusual and, you know, very individual person in what he is and what he does, yeah. <laughs>